Hello everyone. This is the new dehydrator that I bought. The Salton dehydrator. I got this for I don't know, $48 at Walmart Canada and um, I like it because it's got the temperature control here so it starts at as low as 95 degrees Fahrenheit or 35 degrees Celsius and it goes all the way up to 160 degrees Fahrenheit or 70 degrees Celsius. It comes with five trays. Right now I just have one in here. And let me get the box. I'll move that over. So this is the box. Salt on food dehydrator. You know, nutritious snacks, adjustable temperature control, powerful motor, includes five trays. Oh, it has recipes. I forgot. So you can make 100% um, natural ingredient nutritious snacks for yourself. <clears throat> and when you just when you embark on a healthier diet, likely you're going to decide at some point that you would like a food dehydrator. Now they're very expensive, the good ones, Excalibur and others. So what I liked with this is definitely the temperature control because I've heard some of the negatives about these circular ones like this and the fact that they have only an on and off button and you can't control the temperature. But for 50 bucks, this is a great little machine. I've used it a couple times now. Um, I can't even remember what I made the first time. Cookies. Almond pulp cookies. That's what I did. Yep. Sorry, just putting the box away. And last night, I made some energy bars. <clears throat> so I just used one tray because I just made a small amount and I wanted to make something to use up my coconut pulp for making fresh delicious coconut milk. So I made a couple of these that were just refrigerated and they were soft. This has got almonds, no sorry, walnuts, coconut, and dates. This has sunflowers, coconut pulp, dates, oats, rolled oats, and something else, I think. Oh gosh, I can't remember. Anyway, these turned out crispier, and they're great. This is like a nice cookie, and this one's a little bit of a softer treat. So, with the leftover co coconut pulp and some nuts and some, oh yeah, I had coconut oil in that as well. No coconut oil in this. You can make some delicious treats to, to have on the go in your car, and it's fantastic. So, so far, for me, I am definitely enjoying this dehydrator. I haven't used it a lot yet, but I haven't been disappointed. It's great, you put it on at night and you get up in the morning and your stuff's done. This I left in about 12 hours, so possibly a little longer than I wanted, but I only had it at 105 degrees Fahrenheit. So I'm excited. And so far, so good. Time will tell if I ultimately move into having something bigger, like the Excalibur for hundreds of dollars. But for now, this did a great job. And um, I'm happy. So in case you wanted to see, these are two of the other trays. They just go on really easily, just like that. They're plastic, although they sort of look metal. Let's see. You just do that. You put them on. And I suppose, depending on what you're making, you know, this is three, but there's two more, so it's five. You might want to rotate stuff around. Um, but it seems like there's a great uh, f flow of air that comes through, so I'm sure it's fine. I've only ever so far needed to use one tray. But, um, you know, in the future, I'm sure if I make something else, I I'll. I'll make something with more and I'll test it out. But so far that's what it looks like and um, as I said I think this is a great great little dehydrator so far. You know I'm not an expert and I don't know all that um, stuff that people who've done it for a long time do. The only thing I can say is that the circular pattern makes it a little harder to put stuff down like if you, if you have a flat straight rectangular tray you can more easily just put down a piece of parchment paper. So on this, I had to cut strips of parchment paper to, to put my, my treats on there. That said, 
you know, you're still saving probably over $300 getting this. So cutting a bit of parchment paper to go the other way is not really that big of a deal in my mind anyway. But again, this is for someone who's getting into this. Uh, I think this is a great first dehydrator and we'll see where I go from here. All right. Thanks for watching.